And welcome to another Cheat Meal Monday. And today I'm going to share with you a little project that we're going to work on. Plus I'm going to share with you what we're having today for lunch. First part of it is we're going to make some homemade seasonings. This is something I have really got in involved with. I love making all kinds of homemade seasonings. And we have a whole bunch that we're going to be doing this week. Most of them will be during the weekend. But I wanted to share with you one of them that we're working on today. I received some product for a product review and I'll tell you why I got this product you know a few weeks ago I did a video on showing what I got at the Dollar Tree and how I put my spices in it so it was like this well a company contacted me and asked if I would do a product review on actual spice containers so it is called Genolia and I will try to get you a link below. I haven't heard from this company since they gave me this product. So I am not sure the link that I should use, but I'm going to find the link for you. It's called Genolia. And what it is, is all kinds of little spice containers like this. But they're a little deeper. They're magnetic on the back. And they're great for spices. That's what they're made for. While the Dollar Trees are made for office supplies and things like that, this is actually made for spices. How cute is that? So I got the product for free and I will find the link to them so you can at least look at them because they're kind of cute. Today we are going to make Sloppy Joe Seasoning Mix and I think you're going to really enjoy it. You know, it's so easy to go to the grocery store and pick up an envelope you've seen on many videos of mine where I have these envelopes of these spice mixes but it's so much cheaper to make your own plus you don't have all of those preservatives so I have all of my ingredients here below let's get started and let's make some sloppy joes for spice gifts mix. I am going to actually quadruple the recipe but I will share with you at the end of the video a recipe for one amount but I'm going to quadruple it because one amount isn't really going to give me much of anything. So it's called Sloppy Joe Seasoning Mix. So I'm going with my amount and that is four times the amount that it's called for. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of chopped dried onion. And then I'm going to add four teaspoons of cornstarch now I'm not measuring precisely because it really doesn't matter for these spices and then we're going to it calls for one-fourth of dried mustard so I'm going to have that four times so one two three and four cause four there will be four of these chili powder one now this is for making sloppy joe celery seed the same amount one how pretty is that looking and then it calls for salt it calls for a teaspoon so we're going to do that four times and then it calls for sugar and we're going to do that four times so as you can see there's a little bit of a theme here now you're going to ask me how much do I use it doesn't say well just a minute let me see it says, okay, so what I did was four. So it will make you four pounds of sloppy joe. So if you do this recipe by how it's called for, then it would, it would be one pound of ground beef per this. So I'm making it times four. Now, if you want to, you could get your containers out, four of them, and then add it that way. But I normally just put a little bit in as it, and I taste it. 
This is so cool. Now we have our Sloppy Joe seasoning mix. I'm going to go ahead and we are going to put them in our containers. So you could spend one day and you could make up all the different mixes and you would have that for like as long as you need it. So I wash these containers. So basically it's going to give me four of these containers and one of these is probably going to be for about a pound of ground beef. Not quite. It's going to give me three containers. I just think it's so neat. And it's so easy. You can do tacos. I have taco seasoning. I'm going to make all kinds of seasonings. And at the Dollar Tree is where I got most of my ingredients. So it didn't cost me hardly anything. There we go. A gift that would be for somebody for Christmas. And then I have labels for it. you enjoyed making some Sloppy Joe seasoning mix with me. Now, I made three of these, and I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch more for gifts. I'm going to show you what I made for Cheat Meal Monday. I'm actually going to do a voiceover because I had people in my home, and it was quite loud. So I hope you enjoy what I made for Cheat Meal Monday, and I hope you enjoyed these spices. Get ready because we're going to have a lot more spices to come, and I think you're going to really enjoy them. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. From my kitchen to yours. So this is what I made for Cheat Meal Monday. My husband, my daughter, and I, we went to Tractor Supply and we got some supplies there. And you'll see later what we bought from the veterans. So we wanted to get some chicken and I got this for $5. The chicken was really cheap because it was one day past expiration date. So I knew I was going to be cooking it right away. So I thought we'll put it in my Instapot or my pressure cooker. And we cooked it on for 20 minutes, and the chicken came out amazing. There was a stand outside of Tractor Supply, and it was veterans, and the proceeds go to the veterans. And we bought some of this habanero hot sauce uh, seasoning. So we decided to use it on chicken. And so I decided to shred up the chicken from the pressure cooker, and we were going to make chicken sandwiches. That's one thing I love about this pressure cooker, that... On Friday, we were so busy, we had so many chores and errands, but we could come home and have a hot meal within 20 minutes. It was 20 minutes cooking time and 10 minutes to build the pressure. And there we go, we have chicken sandwiches, and it was really yummy. From Fanny's Diary, we're on December the 10th, 1942. Today, we butchered a hog. The dressed weight was 404 pounds. So what are we gonna make this weekend? Well, I'll let you know a little bit what we're going to work on. How about some chicken and rice soup mix? How about some garlic and onion dip mix? How about some barbecue mix? Calico bean soup mix? Barbecue seasonings? I have all kinds of books that I am working on. There's also the country six bean soup mix. I'm so excited to share with you. And then we have Italian style bean soup mix. These are all going to be mixes in a jar where you can give us gifts or you can keep them in your own pantry for this winter. So I'm really excited about this series that I'm working on and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow.